Hello everybody, welcome to Wade's Movie World. In this video, I'm going to be doing two movie reviews for two movies that I really had a huge problem with both of these movies uh, because of their message and what they did and how they destroyed or almost destroyed two franchises of beloved characters. Thank God they only made one movie for each of these. And these are two movie reviews I really didn't want to do, but I decided to go ahead and do them just so I would never have to talk about these two films ever again. And those two films are Ghostbusters, the 2016 remake film, the all-female-led Ghostbusters, and then the 2019 remake movie of Charlie's Angels, Okay, so I'm going to start with the 2016 Ghostbusters right now. This is my movie review for Ghostbusters 2016, the female remake. Here is the synopsis of the movie on this slide. I'm not going to read it. I will just give you a few seconds to let you read it for yourself. Okay, so that's the story synopsis. Here are my negatives. Poor acting, not funny, terrible story, horrible characters, race baiting, too political, looks down upon men, it spits on the original Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2 films, the music, the legacy, and the fans of the original franchise. And it has a horrible rendition of the Ghostbusters theme song. Here are my positives. The cast from the original Ghostbusters films, such as Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson, and Sigourney Weaver, make cameo appearances in the film. Okay, so those are my positives and my negatives. Here are a few comments I have about the film before I give it my final grade. I don't have anything against women starring in movies or women, period. However, Whenever you take a film like Ghostbusters and try to remake it with an all-woman cast when it's already been something made that was something special back in the 80s, you're pretty much just trashing what was already done before and trying to do it better, which in this case, it wasn't done better at all. So if you want to make a movie with an all-female cast and all of them being heroes, then come up with your own original story and original franchise and don't mooch off something that's already been done that did it great. Come up with your own original thing. One more thing I want to say is these four women have no business wearing the No Ghost Ghostbusters logo. That is an insult to the original four Ghostbusters and to the other cast members that starred in Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2. Okay, here is my final grade for the film. I'm going to give Ghostbusters 2016... A big fat F. Charlie's Angels, the 2019 remake, is a remake film of the original television series and the original movie series, which was made in the early 2000s. So if you would like to read the synopsis, I'm going to leave it on this slide and I'm going to give you a few seconds to read it. Okay, so that is the story summary synopsis. Here are my negatives for this film. Poor acting. Not funny. Terrible story. Horrible characters. Race baiting. Too political. Looks down upon men. Has a very bland story and script. Too much feminism in the movie uninspiring, had terrible marketing, and it spits on the original TV show and the two films from the 2000s era, Charlie's Angels and Charlie's Angels Full Throttle that starred Cameron Diaz, Drew Barrymore, Lucy Liu, Bill Murray, and Bernie Mac. Those are the negatives. Here are my positives for this film. I only have one positive for this film. The awesome and legendary Patrick Stewart stars in the film. 
Okay, so those are all my negatives and all my positives. I don't really have anything more to say about this movie other than what I said about Ghostbusters 2016. Uh, I could pretty much say about this film as well. If you want to make some female, all-female action heroes, then come up with your own story, your own franchise, your own movie, and make it that. Don't mooch off something that's already been done that did it better, way better than this movie in both the 2000s movies and in the original TV series. Make your own crap. Stop copying others. Okay, so for Charlie's Angels 2019, the final grade, it gets a big fat F. Okay, so those are my movie reviews for these two god-awful abomination movies. I'm going to say good night, God bless, I love all of you, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.